Cool. And Carlton has a follow-up question. Is it beneficial to have an entity or LLC in this business? And I think Carlton, you need to come on Saturday and get all the details, but over to you, Lou. <laughs> Carlton, uh, well, first of all, Scott, you're exactly right. That is, <laughs> that is something we're going to be talking about Saturday. Something that isn't brought up by attorneys, isn't brought up by uh, just about anybody out there in the world that espouses that you should get an LLC corporation, limited partnership. Uh, those are entities that are creatures of the state. They were created by the state and there's certain requirements, restrictions and responsibilities that come with those entities. And then I'm going to be sharing with you on Saturday, a whole new entity to consider. And that is this concept called trusts. Now, trusts were around long before these other entities came about. So what happens with trusts is that it's a, it's one of the best <coughs> entity secrets in the world. This is a remarkable entity that almost nobody knows anything about. So I'm going to share with you the, the bits and pieces and hunks and chunks all about trusts on the Saturday. And I, strongly encourage you to get there so you can do the comparison between LLCs, corporations, limited partnerships, and the, my favorite called trusts.